Imagine he was like, you're pregnant right now. Me. No, me. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm going to be consulting a fortune teller, mostly to do with my pregnancy, or lack thereof maybe, who knows, we'll see if it's in the cards for me, literally. Does he, does he read cards? No, not that I know. Figuratively. So honestly, I'm a little bit scared of these things. This is my first time doing this, and I'm also a little bit skeptical. I'm not sure if I completely believe in it, but a lot of my family members in Canada have gone to fortune tellers before, and their predictions were really, really accurate. So I'm really curious to see what he says, and um, yeah, I just want to give it a try. I'm here today with Leo. He is a <laughs> Hong Kong fortune teller and feng shui consultant. Yeah, hello. Nice to, nice to meet you. So I want to ask you first, how long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, I've been doing this for fun for around 10 years. Around 10 years. Mm. And how did you figure out that you had this sense? Uh, it's, not, it's not actually sense, okay? It's actually about calculation. Uh, you have to you have to do some calculation. I of course, uh, there is something that you want to know about your life, okay? So, uh, I was in a mystery, so I want to know more about my future, so I started learning this. Oh, so, yeah, so the, the Chinese way of fortune telling is based on your birthday and time, right? Yeah. So that's how it differs from the Western. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's not actually different. It's, it's a it's a wrong concept. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's actually because um, the horoscope they are they are based on like there there are twenty four points in 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 each year. So yep. we we also based on the solar calendar. Okay. So actually, when we when uh, in the past, of course, we have to check the books, but now we have to we have to look for. Uh, I go to the Hong Kong Observatory to oh. to look at the time when you were born and then uh, it's, it's actually about the, the place of the, 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 the solar system. There are so much similarities. Oh, really? So right now I look at both sides. You, to, you're going to gonna tell me yeah, both sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you also do feng shui? Yeah. Could you tell me what the general idea is of what feng shui is? Uh, like feng shui, um, actually is based on. I think I think Chinese has a better be, better way of interpreting feng shui, and uh, feng shui is actually about the qi. Okay, um, as you know, uh, literally air, but not air. Uh, air. Qi. Yeah. Mm. So the idea is to have things placed a certain way and mm. direction, mm. and that in turn affects your energy and your life. Yeah. To to make you feel good or or bad, right? Yeah, exactly. So if you adjust certain things, say in your home or around you, mm. it can adjust your outlook on life. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So this is my very first time talking to anyone about this stuff. Oh, like I've really? never consulted a fortune teller okay. or a fortune or anything okay. like that. I think my main questions, because one of my main goals or what I hope to happen this year is that I get pregnant. Because uh, I recently got married at the end of November. Oh, that's true. So we're trying. Oh, okay. So yeah. I, how much, how much, how much your personal information can I reveal <laughs> to, uh, to the audience? You can reveal anything you want. <laughs> Just go for it. Okay, because uh, uh, it's a life-changing year. So you have been tough for the past three years, right? It's because been a tough year. Yeah, yeah, from 2014 December to uh, 2017. Yeah. It's been tough years. Yeah. Because uh, we share the same sun horoscope. We are both Sagittarius, and where that's where the Saturn comes uh -huh. in. So before uh, 2014, you were like free, wild girl, and then you can do whatever you want. But sometimes the Saturn puts like extra much burden, burden on you from 2000, late 2014 to 2017, and you start to think settling down. So I'm not surprised that yeah, you get very down. down. <laughs> and I changed a lot and moved a lot. Yeah. Okay. So this year, okay. Yeah. So you have done all the good work. Okay. So okay. Saturn. Okay. There is the difference between in 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 West. Western astrology, we say uh, the fate is still decided by you. is is only affected by the stars. But uh, the Chinese one is 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 a bit more pre uh, predestined. So I think um, you you took the, the 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 Western way, and then you did your work, and then this year, okay, you're going to have the fruit, and then 2020 would be the best year. And actually, 2020 would be the year where you the last 10 years from 2010, the last 10 years you're working to was to go. You're born on 14th. Yes. So um, actually, you should um, the, the the biggest change and uh, with the most impact should be around June. Uh, you'll be settled by June. 
you will be more clear about your 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 work path and your life path. By June. By June. So um, I think you're still struggling between uh, will I be a stay-at-home mom or will I be a, a full-time mom or will I be uh, juggling between work and family and stuff. You're still juggling. You will be still be thinking a lot uh, from now till June, and then everything will be settled by June. Okay. Okay. But when will I get pregnant? Or uh, will I? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I am yeah. going to this year. Uh, no, it may not be this year. Okay. Um, you're going to have a daughter. Okay. You're going to have a daughter. Okay. I am. I'm quite assuming is the first one is a daughter. Okay. So you um from the Chinese one, you, I see you have a daughter from um from year 41 to 45, and the actually the the, the best year, the best year would be uh 20. 2020, um, 2022, like uh, three years later, uh, the year of Tiger will be the best for you. Okay, so you think it won't happen this year, but next year? Yeah. Starting from next year. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Next year is the year of mouse, and then you you may get pregnant, okay, that year, and the, the really like real giving birth is like the year of Tiger. I think it's the, is in the spring of Tiger, the year. Two years. Two, yeah, two years from now. Oh, mm. interesting to know because we really want it to happen like now, like we're we're really trying to make it happen this year. Uh, I think this year will be um. This year, this year you could do, but definitely next year will be quite challenging for you um, because um, you're, you were born in uh, winter, mm. so um, energy, energy wise, okay, not no, literally, right? So you have a lot of water, and next year is not a really good year for you because next year is 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 the year of mouse, and it is the year of like most water, and so th this will not be a good year. Why? Because um, in Chinese uh, astrology, it's all about about the balance. Um, you were born in the season of water, so you need more warmth. So this is not good for you. You should not wear black. You should wear something more, something more uh, of warmer color, like a red. It would be easier for you to get pregnant because you're too cold to oh. get pregnant. Oh, um, not cold in the sense of like in a sense of energy wise, not not in the sense of little rice. Okay. Right, right, right. So things that would help me get pregnant are mm. wearing warmer colors. Warmer colors. Okay. Do so. Do you eat chilly things? You should you should start trying like chilly spicy things. Eat spicy things. Yes. I love spicy food. Okay. Always... And also red wine. Red Ooh. wine. No beer. No beer. No not spirit. white wine. Red. Red wine. I don't like wine. Oh, you just said. <laughs> you just said. Start? That's interesting because when people say you're trying to get pregnant, you should avoid alcohol. Oh uh, no! Before, um, that just depends on 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 your your on the season. Okay, so before you get pregnant, not the time when you get pregnant. You should. Um, there is something called uh, in Chinese, your man is is the is the is the uh, is the is the wine made of like the the herbs, like the Chinese herbal wines. Okay, you can you can try this. Oh. Um, it's really uh, famous in China and Korea. You mm -hmm. should try this. Before you get, um, before you get pregnant, and it helps. Yeah, pregnancy. to what? Yeah, to warm up your body. What about any other thing, like anything in the home I should put? Or? Yeah, yeah. 2019, uh, starting from the fourth of February. Okay. Uh, every day is the fourth of February. Okay, so it's the same for 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 Western and Chinese culture. So starting from that day, the celebrations there goes to uh, the. Uh, uh, northwestern part of your uh, home. So the northwestern parts, what they like, they like uh, warm stuff. So you can put a red carpet there, and then you can put uh, four uh, real roses without the stain. You have to remove the stain. Oh, so just a rose with no stem? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then if you if you don't want to change so frequently, um, you can put a red carpet in there. So the red stuff or purple carpet or anything red or purple. Is there anything I need to watch out for or be careful with? Um, like health wise or pregnancy wise or? Mm, <laughs> this is a tricky question, okay? So if you really want to, uh, because you're you were born in 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 a in a really in a really cold month, so you have to get the energy to get your pregnant. So what's the best energy is around noon, okay? Yeah. <laughs> noon. So if if you if you find difficulty in getting pregnant, you should go to warmer places. Like you you can go to Thailand, you can go to the Philippines. Oh. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh -huh. Go to have brunch and have some red wine and then 
and then yeah, oh. <laughs> it's a romantic, romantic brunch. Okay. But you said I won't get pregnant this year, so. Uh, I I think uh, this year could be. Uh, this year won't be the best. Okay, I think the best year would be because. Um, I've checked. I've checked also because you were born in the year of dragon. Okay. Yeah. So if you get a um, a tiger, okay, a tiger, okay, uh, it will be the best for you. Both of you. Why? Because um, the for personality, okay, for dragon, okay. Sometimes you're really hardworking, and sometimes you can be quite uh, lazy. Mm -hmm. So uh, both of you too. So if you want to get the best energy for your for your for your for your um, uh, family, I think you you should get a tiger because a tiger is always hardworking. So you will be getting a really pushy kid, and oh. then the, uh, it will, uh, like he will push you guys, okay, to be successful. Oh, so you mean it's not necessarily that I won't get pregnant next year, but you yeah. think the the optimal time to get pregnant is the year after. Yeah. So it could happen next year, but yeah. it's not ideal. Yeah. Internet I think is your thing. It's okay. Good. Yeah, and um, you know what, okay? If you if you really want to go a step further, you can do internet teaching cooking. You'll be the next Marvel steward of the Asia. <laughs> you're definitely not good though. <laughs> you're going to be the next Marvel really? steward, yeah. I like cooking, but I'm not that good at it. Yeah, you can. Oh, so that's what you see from my channel? More yeah. like sharing, more yeah, cooking? Yeah, more cooking. And... Cooking, um, do you like magic? Magic is also like fire. Magic? Magic. Oh. And then, do you, do you want this YouTube to go more viral? You should get a bigger light. The lighting, you should get a lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any right now. You should we, should, we should go somewhere outdoor next time and it will go more viral. Oh, shooting outside, you think yeah, that's best for me? Yeah. Oh, so not in, not indoor. No, no, not indoor. Oh, <laughs> and then, no, not wear black. Try to wear I love something. Black. No, no. <laughs> Try to wear something warm. Is mm. pink okay? Yeah. Okay. Something warm. I like pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you. How are you feeling? Oh, this is really bright. I feel. I feel a bit sad. Because he said I won't have a baby next year, or I shouldn't, or. Yeah, he, it just shouldn't. Like, it's not the best. Like, the, the way that I, I understand what he was saying was basically because having a baby ever as a mouse, mouse baby, would be the worst thing for you. Like, it's just not a match. Doesn't mean that you're not going to have a baby. You can still have a baby because apparently it's not like a fate that you're not going to have a baby this year. It's just, it's not the best for you to have a baby this year. Uh. But now I'm scared if I get pregnant, I'm gonna be like, oh, the baby's evil. Probably a lot of arguments. If With the kid. A, yeah, if you have a baby mess. Mmm. Because 2019 is pig, 2020 is mouth, mouse. So if I get pregnant is now, tiger. it's not a mouse. If you get pregnant, like, right now, it's not then it's not a mouse, then it's a pig. Until March is still a pig. But I guess like why he said it would be a mouse is because he, he thinks it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen that three months. Because uh, you know. All right, it's past twelve. Days. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing my window. <laughs> yeah, it's nine nine a.m. to one p.m. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> I feel like you're going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to go home and cry now. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in the little touches to my life, some warmth, like he said, eat some spicy food, but I'm not gonna just think like, oh, I have to get pregnant at this time or not this time. Like, I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing and if it happens, it happens. But I wouldn't mind adding in little components that can help my life or make me in a better mood, like the colors or the warmth. All right, so that's all. It was a lot of fun, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on Sunday with my weekly vlog. Bye!